Welcome back. My next guest dreamed of being an actor since he was only nine years old. But growing up deaf in a small Minnesota town, there wasn't a place for him on the stage. But Daniel Durant did not let that stop his big dreams. And it turned out that being deaf wasn't even the biggest hurdle to getting to the stage. You know him best for his award-winning performance as Leo Rossi from the Oscar-winning film Coda, and now his spectacular performances on the hit show Dancing with the Stars. Please welcome Daniel Durant to the stage! And also joining us today is Daniel's interpreter, Gabe Gomez. Okay. <laughs> you know, I, I, I could hear you communicating with Billy Porter. I heard like a lot of excitement from Billy. You've run into Billy before at the Oscars. Yeah, that's right. We met at the Oscars, the pre-party. I think it was the pre, like the night before the Oscars. And we hung out and talked, yeah. You hung out. So you know, meeting Billy Porter is electrifying. I'm told that um, you gave him a name sign. Yes. Tell me what His name sign is Billy, because he loves to make that movement. Oh, he loves to make that movement. I think we even have a tape of it. Let's play it. I do that all the time when I talk. Yeah, oh, my gosh. Yeah, so he's Billy. So, so name signs are often from someone's body language and something that you observe that they do? Yeah, really. He's famous because he dances and he does that. So I named him Billy. He tends to do that. And it also, his name starts with a B. So this is a B I'm making with my hand and I thought it was perfect. You are so inspiring. Your, your journey, we know, led you to the Oscars. What I didn't fully know until started to read much more about you is your start. Your mother, um, as you've talked about openly, took you to a neighbor's home and made the decision that no parent wants to make, which was to leave you to be cared for by someone else. When did you fully understand that part of your journey and how it began? Really, I was adopted when I was 18 months old. And both my biological parents are deaf. And my father, he, he had problems with alcohol. And my birth mother, she was addicted to drugs. So she couldn't take care of me. And then it happened, one day she left me with her friend, and she never came back. So her friend found my biological father, and my aunt, which is really my father's sister, adopted me when I was 18 months old. And I'm so thankful to them. They adopted me and they saved me from this family. I got to escape this situation. So I'm so thankful to my mom. I read an interview in the New York Times and you said being raised by two moms and being deaf were both challenging because of how others perceive that to be. I would change absolutely none of it because I am proud of being deaf and I'm proud of being raised by my loving mothers who wouldn't want more moms. I love that. Who wouldn't want more moms? Yeah, that's right. I mean, I'm so lucky to have two moms and that's a great problem to have. They're both <laughs> wonderful women. They're strong, and I'm so happy that they learned ASL for me. That's what I'm most thankful for, because yeah. I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I wouldn't be here without ASL, honestly. That's where it led me to get an education, to socialize, to find my language and my skill, and that led me to acting. You know, 80% of hearing parents with deaf children, they don't sign for their kids. They don't learn it. Yeah, so I'm lucky that my mothers are in the 20% and they knew how much it meant to me and they loved me and I can connect with my moms directly. I'm very close to my mom. That is extraordinary. Oh, wow. Well, I know that your moms feel the same way. Take a look. Daniel, we continue to be amazed at your passion and your courage to show the world that being deaf does not define who you are or limit what you can accomplish. We are so proud to witness your incredible journey. No, no really, really no, know that we and your entire, entire family, family love, love you. you. Love you. OK, 
okay. Well, I didn't know you were gonna cry. Now you've made me cry. <laughs> Those are tears of joy. Um, listen, we all need someone to bet on us and believe in us. And you have that great support and that led you to have these big dreams and accomplish. Is it surreal? I often ask people that. Is it surreal for you still? I mean, I'm so thankful for my moms. Like you said, they support me. They brought me here big time. And when I found out I wanted to be an actor, I was only nine years old, like you said. And I told my moms that I wanted to be an actor. And they said, yes, they supported me this whole time. And when I started in plays, my moms would go anywhere to watch me in a play. My moms have come here to New York. I went to Norway for a play. My moms went there. And now for Dancing with the Stars, my moms are there too. So I'm so thankful for my moms. Oh, wow.